Hi there. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you parts B and C of this question. If you had watched my previous video we were asked to find out the values of A and B for this random variable X from this probability distribution table. And we found out that A was 0 0.1 and B was 0 0.2. So for this video we're asked now to show that e of x squared equals 20.4 for one mark and in part c find the variance of 5 minus 3x for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part b then, how do we show that e of x squared equals 20.4? And don't forget, by the way, you can always fast forward to the end if you just want to get an overview of these methods. So for part b then, e of x squared. Well, e of x squared is always equal to the sum of sigma of x squared multiplied by the probability of your random variable x equaling the observed value x. And in this particular example, x runs through the numbers from 1 to 6. So we can just put here x equaling 1 to 6. So therefore, if we do that, we're going to have 1 squared times a, in other words, 0 0.1. So we've got 1 squared times 0 0.1. And then similarly, it'd be plus 2 squared times a, which will be 0 0.1 plus 3 squared times a, which is 0 0.1. And then we get 4 squared times this time b, which is 0 0.2. And then plus 5 squared times another b, which is 0 0.2. And finally, plus 6 squared multiplied by 0 0.3. And if you work this out, you do in fact get the 20.4. All right. Now in part C, we're now asked to find the variance then of 5 minus 3x. And when you get something like this, a combination of values, you should be familiar with this particular formula. That the variance of a constant, say a, plus or minus another constant, say b times a random variable x, is equal to b squared times the variance of x. So in this example, a then is the 5. We've got negative, this negative here, and we could argue that b is just the 3 then. So we're going to end up with this being equal to 3 squared times the variance of x. So how do we find the variance of x first of all? Well, Again, this is a formula that you should be familiar with, and it is always equal to e of x squared minus e of x all squared. And we've got these values, e of x squared, we've just worked out, was 20.4. e of x, we're told, was 4.2, so that's going to be 4.2 squared. And if you work this out, you end up with 2.2. 7.6. So when it comes to working out the variance of 5 minus 3x, then this is going to be equal to 3 squared times the variance of x. And we know that 3 squared is 9, so it's going to be 9 times 2.76, the variance of x, and this comes to 24.84. All right.